Hey everybody, this is a quick video in case you have a Toast Lab printer and you need to do a hard reset to the factory default settings on it. Now you're gonna to wanna to do this for one of two reasons. The first one is troubleshooting. If you're having any issues with this printer not printing, if it seems to be not connecting or not syncing with your device or whatever like that, um, a hard reset can fix a lot of these issues. The second reason is if you're setting this up on a new network or on a new you know, payment system or anything like that, I mean, you just wanna get a fresh start like it's coming out of the box and you're setting it up as a new device. You can do that really easily. Um, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come down onto the power button and we're gonna turn it off. And then when it's turned off, we're gonna come up and find this feed button here. And we're gonna press and hold the feed button. And while pressing and holding the feed button, we're gonna come around and turn it back on. Um, so once you do that, you're just gonna to continue to hold it until you see a main menu receipt that will print out. Once that main menu receipt prints out, you can then go ahead and let go of the feed button. Once you do that, um, you're going to let go, and as soon as you let go, you're going to more or less immediately uh, press the feed button eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then immediately after that, on the ninth time, you're going to press and hold, you're going to press the feed button again, but you're going to hold it. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and hold the feed button. Um, and from here, once you do that, the Ethernet configuration sheet will print, which then you can select. Um, the feed button three times, then let go, and then on the fourth time you're going to hit it. The four, you're going to go one, two, three, four, and press and hold. Now, once now once you do that, you're going to turn off the printer, um, and then once you do that, you're going to press the feed button again, power on your uh, the printer again, and you should get a TP two hundred test form sheet that prints. And this will confirm that the reset has been executed, and you can go ahead and set it up as a new printer.